Parsha, Parshat Naso, has in it Birkat Kwanim, the priestly blessings. At the end of the blessing, God tells the priests that it is his name that is being placed on the nation and that he is blessing them. It's important to understand that it's not the priests that are actually giving us the blessing, rather they are the agents of God. Usually this parsha is read around the time of Shavuot, where we received the Torah. The Midrash Tanhuma links these two things together. The Torah tells us that after we received the Ten Commandments, God tells Moshe to build an altar and to bring sacrifices on it. And afterwards it says that God will come to a place wherever his name is mentioned and he will bless us. The Midrash asks, when does this actually happen? It happens in our parsha. When the Mishkan, the tabernacle, is inaugurated, that is the time that the priests bless the nation, and that is when God rests in that place. It says in the bracha that God's name will be placed upon the nation, and this could explain why the priests actually stretch out their hands. It's as if they are placing their hands on our heads, uh, they are giving the bracha, and we are receiving it. Rav Medan connects this blessing to a very similar blessing that we read about in Sefer Breshit. Yaakov gives his grandsons, Ephraim and Menashe, a blessing by placing his hands on their heads. And there, Yaakov says, I am placing my name and the name of my forefathers, Abraham and Yitzhak, upon you. And with that, he shows Yosef that he is accepting his children as, right, his grandchildren as his own children. Ephraim and Menashe become part of the nation. I think that nowadays we have um, a very similar feel of these two brachot. Uh, we have a, a custom that parents are able to give their children a blessing weekly on Friday night. And that blessing evokes uh, the same feeling that Yaakov gave uh, over with Ephraim and Menashe. We actually use the names Ephraim and Menashe in our blessing. When we bless our children, this is on a personal level, but we also have the national blessing with Birkat Kohanim. When we go to shul and we receive the blessing from the priests, it's important to understand that this is a reflection of the priestly blessing that happened in in the temple. And with that, we're able to um, uh, feel that feeling, on the one hand, a familial uh, individual feeling, and on the other hand, the national feeling. All of these are blessings in which God's name is evoked, and we're able to receive blessing on a personal level and on a national level. Shabbat Shalom.